Block by block, a small Inuit igloo went up in the shadow of the gathering of the Arctic Council in the small northern Canadian town of Iqaluit, a way for indigenous people of the north to have a moment in the sun. And for the eight member nations of the council, a call for action to take on sensitive and vital concerns, such as climate change and the quality of life for indigenous people of the north. Canada is an Arctic nation. After heading up the council for the past two years, Canada turns over leadership to the United States. Secretary of State John Kerry says now is a critically important moment in history. The decisions that we make today and in the next two years the actions that we come together to take will determine the future of this region for generations to come. Accepting the gavel as the figurehead taking over the council, Kerry says the U.S. has an ambitious plan for the next two years, researching climate change, saying the changes are moving faster than the response. But what wasn't discussed here, at least not at length, is garnering a great deal of attention, and that is the stress between Russia and the other members of the Arctic Council. Russia is holding military exercises in the region involving tens of thousands of troops and also working to open a number of military bases in the Arctic. Now, many believe that the Council should expand its bylaws to include security. To allow that to happen uh, really could deter from the overall work of the Council itself, which is why the Council has regularly tried to steer clear from it. And we have other fora. Without question, the needs of the northern people are critically important. Kerry says they come first, and Arctic development needs to be sustainable. Craig Fleener is Gwich'in, a native Alaskan who serves as the Arctic advisor to Alaska's governor. Northern people are like people everywhere else in the world. They need good jobs, they need low-cost energy, they need opportunities, they need infrastructure. But immediate issues demand immediate attention. Sea ice is retreating and getting thinner in the Arctic. Winter is starting later. Summer is coming earlier. Scientists say this region is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. The U.S. will focus on research trying to determine why methane is building up in the region, a greenhouse gas 20 times more harmful than carbon dioxide, and look for ways to reduce the buildup of black carbon, blamed for melting snow and ice. But the challenge remains trying to find a unified global way to address issues amid a world of problems. Sean Cadlebs, CCTV, Iqaluit.